Hello and welcome to Adelux on this new Lutron Homeware QS tutorial where I will share with you my experience as an independent Lutron programmer. The subject of today is addressed to new programmers and in this tutorial I will quickly show you in which cases I'm using the Homeware QS software. So without further ado, let's do it! So, I'm using the Homeware QS software in two different ways or for two specific cases. The first case is when I'm working on a project that has been designed by somebody else, been already installed and fully wired, and I'm just here to commission and program it. In order to complete my task successfully in this particular case, I will need specific documents, which are the lighting floor plan or the load schedule, as well as the wiring schedule. We've already done a series of tutorials that explain how to get and how to use those documents and you can find the links below if you want to see those first or later. The second case where I will use the software is when clients hire me to design a full homeware QS system. Those type of clients can be homeowners, property developers, architects, home automation dealers or electrical contractors they will provide me with a lighting floor plan or a load schedule that will show all the lighting circuits they want to control and also any other type of equipment that need to be operated from the Lutron system such as blinds, gates, pumps, shutters, contact closure, etc. etc. And they will also tell me how they would like to operate those equipment being from keypads on the wall or using occupancy sensors. I will input all this information in the Lutron Homeware QS software, which will generate a series of reports that I will be able to supply to them. This will include a complete list of materials so they can order the exact type and the exact amount of Lutron equipment. I will also advise them on how to position and wire the keypads and occupancy sensor so it follows the product specifications. Most importantly, I won't have to wait for someone else to give me the wiring schedule or other installation documents because using the software in this way will allow me to supply all the wiring reports myself so the electrician can install and wire the cables in accurately and exactly as I specified. It will be almost like painting by numbers for the electrician which at the end will benefit everybody involved in the installation process. Of course, it can happen that between the time I supply the wiring information and the time I come to the job, things may have changed. But since the core of the wiring information is coming from me, I can make the changes very quickly and efficiently when I get to site. And this also will lead to a better interaction and teamwork with the electrician I've noticed over the years. The other great point will be that on the day of commissioning, I will come to site with the database already done, which will even include the programming of the keypads. This will greatly optimize and speed up the commissioning and programming process and will allow my client to make a bunch of saving on service costs. There you have it, the two specific cases where I'm using the Homeware QS software. The first case is where I will only commission and program a system designed by someone else. And the second case where I will use the software will be to design a full homeware QS system and then commission it and program it. Voila, I hope you found this tutorial useful, especially if you're about to program your first homeware QS system. If you have any question, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much and talk to you again on the next tutorial.